Hey everyone, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the radishes I've been working on here. We're gonna see what we end up getting. Probably not gonna get anything spectacular. It's my first time I've grown them indoors. And honestly, I did a poor job for the first, I don't know, two weeks to a month getting them started. So, plus I had that uh, aphids infestation and when I sprayed <clears throat> some of the uh, soap and neem oil and just some other insect killer around in this room, um, I noticed most of the leaves died, so they were stunted for a month. But anyway, they're, it's time to pull them out. They're technically 60 days since planting, since sowing the seeds. And they're supposed to only take 30 to 40 days to be ready. So they're two weeks past optimal conditions. Um, but because of the stunted growth and my slow start, I, I wanted to wait till I at least had something to show. So we're going to take a look and see what I got. I'll be right back and we'll take a look. These are the Easter egg radishes. So I'm gonna pause the video and get these set up so you can see them a little better. All right, everyone, got them here in the light. I'm not expecting much. We're gonna start with one that I know didn't do anything, or at least I don't think did. And uh, as you can see by this, uh, by this one right here, it never really grew. Got another one right here. It looks like we've done something here. And honestly, yeah, we've got a, Got a radish. We've got a white one back here, a little different. This was a variety Easter egg pack. So let's pull this guy out. And uh, I'm not too disappointed in that one either. So far, uh, one sad one and a couple of decents. Let's see if we got anything in this one right here. I don't think so either. Yeah, so I see nothing on that one. So you have failures and you have wins. How about this one right here? Yeah, we got a little something. A little more uh, red than the uh, purplish one over there. How about anything on this one? No. Nope. A deadbeat as well. And this one looks like another deadbeat. And then how about the big one? Did we get anything on this big one? Big as in big leaves, but looks like it's hard to do with one hand. Yeah, you know what? Not exactly a stellar harvest, but See if I can break some of this off with one hand. There we go. So yeah, that's what we got. Not much for my first time growing them. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get them washed up and get you a better video of, of what we actually really have. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. A little bit bright here, but uh, you can kind of see what we got. Not much to brag about. I mean, this one, obviously is shaped differently probably would have the stunted growth probably kept it from really rounding out same with these ones i mean we got a nice red one a couple of purples this one's a little more bulbous and then the white one seems to have done the best and i'm keeping the other ones um might do something with all the leaves and we'll figure it out that's water on the leaves right now i just rinsed them off anyway first time doing it i only planted what do we got here eight I think I planted 10, two died, and four didn't even produce anything, and then four did. So not bad for, you know, 60-day experiment. I've learned a little bit from it. Need to plant them a little deeper than the packet says, I believe, and uh, keep them well watered, it seems like. When they dried out, it really uh, made them uh, struggle, and also keep them close to a light source. It seemed like when they were first started, they're, they're about a foot and a half from the light source, and it made them leggy and they just never really develop bowls because of that. So lesson learned, I think the next round will be a lot better. Anyway, thanks for watching.